Hi, this is Fred. This video is a response to a member of our community wanting to install BigBlueButton 2.0 on a T2 large Amazon EC2 instance. Uh, the T2 large has got 8 gig of memory, which is good, but it only has two CPU cores. Uh, we normally recommend four, but for purposes of trying out BigBlueButton with small groups of users, should be fine. So here I've set up a T2 instance and I've set up the inbound rules for the Amazon security group. Amazon calls their firewall so that the required ports are open. Uh, the server has a public IP address and a private IP address as well. So there's a little bit of steps to set up with EC2, but we have recently worked on an install script that makes it easy to set up the glue button. So what the script will do is basically go through the steps required for installing the glue button 2.0. And it will also, if you provided a domain name, it will also set up an SSL certificate as well. We also, uh, the script also knows how to set up out EC2 as well. So if you open up the following ports on the firewall, the security group for Amazon, and this is just another screenshot of it, then you can run the glue button and the install script, bbb-install.sh, can pretty much automate the installation of the glue button. So let's see how this might work. So I have an Amazon EC2 instance here. If I do top, you can see it's got the eight gig of memory. It's got the two CPU cores. I've also set up a host name for this instance as well. So let's take a look again at the public IP address for the instance. This is just the Amazon call to get the IP address. There's the public IP address. And I've set up a host name called t2large-test.bigbluebutton.org. And I'm going to use this command dig to look up the IP address assigned to that host name, and it matches. Cool. OK, so we're ready to install. We've got an EC2 instance. The security group is set up has a public IP address, and I've got a DNS name associated with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. This will get us going with an install with just the IP address. But because we have a host name, we're going to use this format where we can pass the server name and an email address. So let's take this part here, go back. OK. So. Server name is t2largetest.bigbluebutton.org. An email address, fdixon at bigbluebutton.org. That's it. So let this run. And after a few minutes, we should have the blue button set up 2.0 with an SSL certificate on the server. OK, it's asking us to just update the grab interface. Yeah, we just do the defaults. Let it continue. Okay, so the installation is done, and let's take a look at the server. So it's all set up. I'm going to go to page here and let's log in. Takes to the demo page. Fred. And we can see the secure certificate is set up. If I look at it, looks good to go. If I let's encrypt, looks good. Join the audio, allow, test, test, test. And there we have it. Big blue button installed on Amazon, ready to go.